Hi folks, welcome. I'm so lucky I live here in Italy, in the north of Italy, in a Turin city. And here I'm surrounded by mountains, which means it's all full of water, a lot of rivers, a lot of lakes, and I love going fishing. So today I want to build myself the perfect belly boat. It has to have two characteristics. The first one, I, uh, I want to have it very easy to carry it around so I can dismount it into pieces. And the second characteristic has to be very stable because here there are also huge monster fish are called gatto pesce pesce gatto are like pesce silura or maybe in english is torpedo fish and as you can see are pretty huge so my belly boat has to handle this kind of monster so i already know where to buy everything but first let's start with the intro So I bought everything I need for this project. Luckily for me, everything is very cheap, under 50 bucks. So I choose to take these PVC pipes, I place here in the middle of my shop, a sturdy workbench, and I also took this old baby chair. I love the fact that it has a metal structure and I can dismount it in many pieces. Later on, I will show you what I mean. So the first thing I have to do is come back here on the workbench. I already have everything I need, some screws, a drill, and I want to place some little wheels here just on the top of the workbench. So I can spin the pipe easy. So let's screw everything in place. Have to be very aligned and precise. Now, if the little wheels are perfectly in line, I can place the PVC pipe on top and I can spin it easily. This is important because later I'll have to heat up the plastic. I will work on this side of the workbench and I can spin the pipe without problems. But first, let me take my propane tank and the flame so I can heat up the plastic. Unfortunately, this pipe stay for many years under the rain and is all covered with dust. It's important to clean very well the inside of the plastic so I can use some alcohol and some tissue to clean up the inside. The little wheels are coming so handy. You can see I can spin and spread evenly the heat on the plastic. Now the little trick for giving the right shape to the plastic pipe is using two square pipes. Are in metal and can I, I can apply pressure with the tips of my finger of the foot and with my hands. I squeeze the plastic, wait for 10 seconds and now the plastic is cold and the shape is fixed. I love how it came uh, and now it's just a matter of cutting away the excess of plastic. I remember, remember you to leave a little piece of plastic because I have to squeeze it and close the gap. Unfortunately, as you can see here in this clip, isn't perfectly closed. There's still one or two millimeters so water can get inside, but I already know what to do to fix this problem. So I made the same procedure on both pipes and this, as you can see, is the gap in the front is even bigger. Almost a finger of gap here on the front. So to close this plastic, I think I will use some heat source to weld the plastic together and I also have to apply a lot of pressure. So I already know what to do. I think I'm going to use this. It is my vice and I have to modify it and make the jaw bigger so I can squeeze the plastic. I can then weld these metal scrap pieces here on front and use this to clamp and 
squeeze the plastic after I heat it up. Now I can use the welding machine to weld momentarily these huge pieces on the front of my vise. Later I will cut them once the job is finished. So you can see that everything works perfectly and also they close perfectly aligned. Now it's just a matter of heating up the metal. I suggest you to heat it up very well, like 10 minutes of heating and also put propane inside the metal so you can heat them from the inside. After 10 minutes everything is so hot that I can take the PVC pipe, place it in the right position and squeeze hard the vise. This theoretically will close and weld the, pl the plastic together. Um, yeah, this was just theoretically because unfortunately it didn't work as planned, but this was my first time. So uh, the solution is to use some construction adhesive. This is polyurethanic glue that sticks perfectly to PVC, P PVC without problems. And I use this to fix little places where the plastic isn't perfectly welded. So you can see that, that here in the front water can still go inside. So let's be generous, put a lot of glue and wait 24 hours until it gets dry. While the glue dries, I design here on Fusion 360 on my computer this wood piece. Has to be a structure pieces that hold the pipes together. I can use my CNC that is much preciser than me and cut away in 15 minutes the wood piece. I have to do it multiple times and finally this is the result. I have a very strong wood part. I also made some holes, later I will explain the reason. And yeah, let's see it better. Here it is. Wow, I love the precision of the CNC and I have to replicate this job not only one time but four times because I want to have four arms that reach the PVC pipes. The reason why I made these holes is for having a lighter structure, but I know how I think and <laughs> probably I also put ropes or fishing rods inside these holes. Never know. So now the next part is use some sandpaper and clean up all the wood parts and apply some protective paint so moisture doesn't ruin the wood. And finally, the moment of truth, so let's see if the foot part fit the PVC pipe. Yes, it's perfect. Let's take back the baby chair I found next to garbage. This has a square shape and I love the fact that I can dismount it without using tools. There's just a stainless steel pin I have to push inside and the part is so strong and stable. I want to place everything on top of the wood arms like this. So it's pretty easy, I just have to use some very long stainless steel bolts and for this I have to make four holes in the wood part here and lucky for me the existing holes of the metal base are perfect for this. Long bolts goes inside the existing holes in the metal base and this goes inside the wood part. As you can see I also placed some protective paint inside the holes because I don't want to get moisture getting inside. I, I fix everything with bolts and nuts on the other side and I also place a stainless steel base. And this is so lightweight, I can dismount it easily and I think this is the perfect solution for the base of my belly boat. I also cut many other pieces on the CNC because I want to enlarge the base of the round part because the only solution to put together the parts with the PVC is using glue. I'm using quite expensive glue, this is polyurethanic glue, it is almost 15 bucks for each cartridge but this is so strong glue and this is will be the only part that connects me to the PVC pipe.
The front part of the belly boat is too fragile for me, so I want to stiff it up using some stainless steel so I can hit without problems rocks or trees that are in the water. So after 24 hours the glue is dry and wow, I love the shape of this belly boat. It is also so lightweight, I can put it on top of the roof of the car without problems just by myself. Now it's a matter of painting everything and stick with me because this procedure is so interesting. I will do a paint job that looks so cool, so strange. The first thing I have to do is apply some primer because paint, spray paint, doesn't stick very well to plastic. So a good hand of primer on all of the plastic is crucial. Now I can take other colors starting from an, a red from the top, orange and finish everything with some yellow. The idea is to make like a lava effect, like some fire and this is the first part of this paint job. Now let's take something else, I'm talking about some dish soap, I suggest you to choose an expensive one because very cheap ones tend to be so liquid we need to have something that looks like a gel and just squeeze the soap on top in a random way and create this pattern, very casual one and make this pr procedure for each pipe at a time. So the first pipe now need to take some black paint and I can apply just on top of the soap very quickly before the soap drips off and you can see that the black paint stick to the plastic but where there's soap doesn't dry and this is the effect, it drops away. This is the result, pretty ugly but I need to put some water and clean the plastic. So after that the black paint is perfectly dry, I can put water and with a tissue I can clean up the excess of the soap and of the black paint. And this is amazing, it looks like lava with some crust on top. I want to protect the paint so I can, it can handle also uh, hit, so this is the result. And now finally the first test, and this was a sad moment. I soon realized that I was too heavy and the pipes are too small. I mean, they can keep me above the water, but it's so unstable and wobbly. Okay, unfortunately it's terrible. It looks like a rodeo is absolutely unstable. Imagine also to hook a fish that is a monster fish with this kind of bow. You, you will die. It's impossible to stay on it. So I need to fix the problem. I already know what to use. So let's move on to the shop. After a very rapid math, I just realized that this PVC pipe can lift up only 60 kilos. So I'm adding these beer containers for a total weight that can support 180 kilos without problems.
Sono riuscito a entrare dentro un anfratto che sarebbe impossibile fare a piedi Qua la, per terra è tutta melma, si sprofonda almeno di mezzo metro E qua è veramente un paradiso Un anfratto dove solo col belly boat puoi entrare Mamma mia che goduria, me lo invidieranno tutti i miei amici sto progetto, tutti Che ne frega un cazzo, ne frega. Wow, folks, I'm so excited. I mean, this project opens for me many places to visit. I love go fishing and I have a huge plan. So I want to go on the river, which is called the Po River. It's the biggest river here in Italy. And I want to go down and until I reach the sea with this kind of boat and try to fish as many monster fish as possible. So if you can, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I will show you if I catch any fish and if you stay until here until the end of the video compliments because it was a long one and i leave you here below in the info below also the 3d file of the pieces i made so you can measure all the things i did and i also leave a link to a belly boat that already exists on amazon is an affiliate link so if you buy something from amazon it doesn't cost you anything more but just you are giving me a, a little tip for continuing my project so consider leaving a thumbs up which is very appreciated or subscribing to the channel as always and at this point i leave you here with my two previous projects so check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial ciao ciao